Hello again, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, hello. My name is Emma. I also go by Coffee Vale. I am a freelance illustrator and a practicing witch. And today we are combining both those things and talking about casual and low energy for my other fellow spoonies out there. Ways to put witchcraft into your art. Okay, so first is going to be the easiest method, and that is going to be painting using moon water. <sighs> moon water is when you leave, I typically will use a jar of water to stay out and soak up the power and energy of the moon. Generally, the full moon is ideal. And using that for painting is going to be a nice low energy way to put witchcraft into a task that you are probably going to do anyway. You can charge what you're painting. You can just kind of imbue what you're making if you're making it as a gift for someone imbue some power and energy into that you can enchant the painting that way it's a really nice low-key low effort way to mix some magic in there another way to work your craft into your craft <laughs> um god that was a bad joke <laughs> is to make it a devotional act to a deity or make it an offering to your deity, whatever you're creating. So be it a DIY project, a painting, a drawing, a song, any kind of art you can either use as a time to bond or connect with your deity or as an offering for your deity. If you don't work with the deity, because plenty of witches don't, you can use your art as a meditative state. You can do like an automatic drawing where you're just drawing what immediately comes into your mind and letting your hand guide your work instead of thinking about it. You can use it to relax as a form of self-care. Self-care and grounding is extremely important with witchcraft. You can use this as time to work in your grimoire or book of shadows to decorate it, to fill it with information you've gathered. You can enchant or charm your art supplies. You can enchant your brushes. You can charm the paints. You can choose topics or subjects that relate to deity or relate to whatever spell you want to do. You can use this time to craft sigils. You can use a color palette based on color magic or what kind of spell you'd like to do. You can do a spell using a painting. You can paint what you want to visualize, what you want to come forth or a representation of that and let that be the energy that you're putting out to the universe. You can use herbs and flowers to make your own paper. That one's not a low energy thing though. I will tell you, it's a lot of effort to make paper, but if you have the time and energy, making your own paper and embedding it with flowers or herbs that correspond or making a grimoire from it, is a really amazing, powerful thing. I may do a video where I dust off my bookmaking skills and hand make my next grimoire. If you'd like to see me do that, let me know down in the comments if that would be interesting to you. I can do a little video on how to make your own grimoire from scratch. That could be fun. A Pinterest or mood board of images inspired by what you want to manifest or a deity or what you want to bring forth with your craft and create art based on that. You can embed it with that desire, that energy to manifest it for you through spell work. You can 
draw or paint correspondences for what you'd like to bring forth. I think I already said earlier, but the subject matter of what you're creating, you can draw plants or herbs or flowers. Maybe you don't have the ingredient that you want for a spell work. A photo, a drawing, create a substitute. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. Anywho, these are all ways to incorporate crafting and art and creating into your witchcraft, into your magic. These are just a couple of simple low-key ways and a couple that aren't as simple because I just got a little ahead of myself. But hopefully some of these are helpful for you. This is a short video, but I just wanted to include some ways. I know some people liked my low energy devotional acts video. And so I wanted to make something a little similar, but a little more art themed or crafty for my fellow art witches out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below or let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cover soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.